What's better than a farming sim? A farming sim with magic. Wild Flowers is a farming sim that has a lot more to it. This is a magical narrative gameplay experience with wonderful voiceover work. Uh, hello? If you've also recently taken advantage of a free trial of Ep Arcade and are wondering if Wild Flowers is worth playing, here's a bit of the first three days so you can decide. And since the voice acting in this game is so lovely, I've kept in all the introductions to all the lovely characters so you can hear them for yourselves. Happy spelling! Oh, and this is Fairhaven, the town that's in the game. I love this little cinematic shot showing kind of everybody and where everything is. And you gotta love a pride flag just hanging right where the mayor works. Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. And there isn't that long of an opening. We can start controlling our character right away, which is cool. So there's the map and off we go. Oh, and here's Violet. Oh my gosh, you gotta be Tara. Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. And this is touchscreen controls. I'm playing on my iPad and it seems to be working pretty well. We got our own fishing spot. Blasted, rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh, Grandma? <gasps> oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. Yeah. 
you're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. There now, that should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. <laughs> This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. Hey, I remembered this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. It is starts out like a very traditional farming sim where part of the narrative is to kind of restore Grandma Hazel's farm to the way it was. The very start of this game does have a lot of very traditional farming sim elements, you know, with coming back to your grandparents' farm, helping to restore it, and then of course meeting everybody like this game is doing. The magic of this does come later, and I would say this is a game where if you're looking for very interesting and complex characters, this is where this game really excels as somebody who has played a lot on the Switch. Oh, hello! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter! I mean, neighbor! Uh, hi! Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, yes, I thought that was you. What with this being a, a bakery and all. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's obvious. My little claim to fame. Ah, hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, 
Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the supports rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. And I love all the little details in this game. For example, on the fireplace mantle, there are photos. So I love when games include little details like that that really kind of bring it to life. The conversations change depending on what's happening. They will say something different when you chat with them. They respond to kind of what else is going on with other customers. Other customers. They will respond to what's happening with others in the town and how to respond accordingly, kind of like it would be in real life. You know, if, if something's happening with one person, you may mention it to another. So I think this is kind of really where this game excels. It is a much more linear storytelling than an average farming sim. There isn't quite as much customization to your farm and a few other things you aren't able to like name the animals for example. Um, you can customize a little bit but not a lot. But if you are looking for a more linear narrative gameplay that is a farming sim, this is a really good one to pick up. Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. <laughs> and who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Hey, bro! Hey! But, uh, I I'm not a bro. My name's Kai. I run a kiosk near Town Square. It's like uh, a pop-up shop. What do you sell? Oh, ho, 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 dude, you have to see it to believe it. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off-island. Come by and check it out. But, like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. I run Cafe Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm new here. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. Welcome. I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Tara, Hazel Wilde's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. 
You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm in a day or two and show you around. You'll want to know where Lena's general store is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh, so what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Associate pass on dating apps? Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, uh, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. They're on the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Such a pretty girl. Is it time for bed? Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And your... your shirt had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. A uh, grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. 
Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again! <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Mini Hazel! Still here, I see. You can call me Tara, if you want, because that's my name. Ah, oh, I kinda like Mini Hazel, but suit yourself. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I wanna settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> that's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately. But I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler, is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah. She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Oh, just who I was hoping to see. Who, me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. Nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love, but I also bake to win. Okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I... I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. <laughs> well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? 
my mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks, uh, money's great too, though. Do you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes! After all, that idea won me third place in the Icebreaker Innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations? Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. And I, of course, bought way too many seeds when I went down to the general store. You do have to craft your garden plots in this game, as you can see, so you need a few different materials, which I actually like. I like any time a game includes crafting and you have the ability to craft various items, you know, just like these. So I spent some time going around my farm and kind of picking up sticks and pieces of wood so that we can get some compost going. for bed. Oh. <sighs> oh, are your allergies acting up? Oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. <laughs> But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Is that an actual trapdoor? Jeez, Grandma! What are you keeping down there? 
So, the trapdoor under the rug. Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you put the rug back in place? Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. That was normal. Also, Granny seems to be keeping a secret because why would you randomly have a trap door in your living room? Mm. And the next bit of gameplay was really just focusing on doing things around the farm. You know, starting to get plots set up so you could sell crops, starting to clean up and explore and kind of get to know everybody. I love how everybody has their distinct personality in this game. And I think it's the voiceover just really brings everybody to life. See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. It's so, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow, 
It's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah. Violet. A flower. It's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I could set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? Sixteen. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Uh, where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. Now there is definitely something going on in the town of Fairhaven. I will leave this here and it's kind of up to you if you want to figure out what's going on. I would definitely recommend playing this on Apple Arcade if you have it. It's also equally amazing on the Switch as well and I believe you can get it other places. But for those of you that want, you know, a little bit of mystery, want a little bit of problem solving, want a more narrative story experience this it isn't but it's almost like a crossover between a novel what are they called it's almost a crossover from a visual novel visual novel this game does feel like a really good mix of a farming sim plus visual novel because the story is narrative and it is linear and you do have to do certain things in order to get to the next spot don't pack the soil too tight now you'll choke the seedlings oh hello thomas i didn't hear you that's because i don't wear big clumpy boots like you city folk anyway <clears throat> Not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. So... This is definitely a good option if you want something farming, but you don't want to focus on farming too much. There isn't quite as much ability to customize as some other sims, so this isn't a design game at all. But if you're wanting more of a narrative gameplay with your farming, this would be a great one to try. And I was surprised by it. There were definitely a few twists I've played in the Switch, so I have gotten a little bit farther in this game of my own. And... This one does have some twists and turns in it, Should which I, I personally like. So if you're looking for twisty, turny, narrative, linear gameplay, definitely give this a shot. And if you have Apple Arcade and can play it, it that way, I would give it a go. The controls are pretty intuitive. You do have to tap on a lot of things. It works pretty well. You can hook a controller, but I just used a touchscreen on my iPad and that worked pretty well for me. And I would love to hear if you guys have played this and what you thought. Thank you so much for watching this little video. I would love to hear your comments below. And feel free to like, subscribe if you like sticking around.